subscribe to my channel so we're back at it again and the product junkie in me has bought some new products and these products I have always been wanting to try but when I was about to try them that's when this big controversy came out about them and I was like I'm a little scared to try it out but they came back with a new formula new everything so it's time to try them out and hopefully they do my hair well and the products are deep curl products and yeah I'm ready to try them out and hopefully they do my hair some good okay so um about the controversy at first when I first started watching YouTube I seen like so many people on YouTube talking about how they love deep curl products they use them almost every wash day all that all that and then like maybe one two years later I started seeing people talking about oh my hair is coming out from deep curl but I'm like in my mind it didn't make sense because it was like you've been using diva curl for two years straight as you said in your videos like you use it every wash day how you just not seeing something wrong after two years like i feel like you should have seen some maybe like one two months you know if you're using it every wash day that's what i was thinking but you know that's none of my business so I'm gonna just leave it at that. But you know, everybody was talking about how it's it was making their hair come out, all that, all that. So I was like, okay, maybe I should wait on trying it because you know me, I love trying products. So I should wait on trying it. But then they came out with this new formula, and they was like, it's dermatologically tested, all that good stuff. So I was like, you know what? This is the best time to try it. It's brand new, you know, and one thing about diva curl is they are expensive but the way they do some people hair i'd be like maybe it's worth the try so i bought two products from ulta but i also got another one for they ran a little deal like if you buy two you get one free like a mini trial size free so i got that as well but the first product is the product that i got um that is a trial size and it's the diva curl scalp purify is an easy rinse exfoliating spray it's really tiny and the light is shining so hard and then i also i on my channel lately i have been buying like a lot of shampoos and deep conditioners and stuff and i don't normally buy like stylers so i thought this time would be the best time to buy stylers so I bought the Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. And the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel with the level two hold. It's a strong hold, no crunch styler. So, um, the reason why I got the leave-in decadence is because that's, I seen more people from type 3C to 4C, you know, putting this in their head. And since I am of that category, I figured I should get the decadence. And I don't know about the gel, you know. I just chose one, you know, so I can do me a nice, nice little twist out. So, first things first, we're going to try this Diva Curl Scalp purify and it says that you just you know spray this on your scalp and moisturize it and not moisturize it massage it and then keep it on there for one to three minutes and I'm okay now it's time for the uh scalp purify but before that i'm gonna read a little on it this is the three ounce bottle and it's from the scalp and hair reset line they have multiple different lines like the decadence is from the hydration line you know so but this says that it is 
the easy rinse exfoliating spray it is um co-developed and formulated with a ph level for healthy scalp this liquid exfoliator is scalp detoxifying complex gently removes scalp buildup and can be used after extensions or protective style so i'm going to separate my hair first so it'll be a whole lot easier since I'm going to be, you know, parting it and spraying it on my scalp. So, I'm going to start in the back section. And, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to spray a little bit on my hand so you can see what it's like. It's like literally, literally just water. And the smell smells amazing. Like, oh my, oh my God. It smells so good. Okay. condition my hair I shampooed with the real gel shampoo that I reviewed on my channel a couple videos back and I deep conditioned with the curl smith um the double cream deep quencher and I just rinsed that out and this is where we're at right now with my hair and I have not detangled my hair throughout this whole process which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm going to see if the leave-in has some slips so I can detangle because right now my hair is pretty tangled. For some reason, I just did not detangle my hair. But this is what my scalp is looking like since I used the um, Scalp Purify. If you wanted to know, you know, I don't know what it's supposed to do. I guess. Okay, it's supposed to balance your scalp's pH. I know that much, but... I don't know if I'm supposed to see immediate results or not. I just used it because I got it as a little freebie, you know. And it is the leave-in decadence moisturizing leave-in conditioner. It says this quick absorbing leave-in conditioner with moisture preserving blend quenches dry coarse curls, leaving them nourished and soft with fridge control and shine. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do a smell test and consistency. Okay. Whoa. It smells like some kind of fruit or something. It smells great. The consistency it shocked me because I wasn't expecting it to be that consistency. I was thinking it was gonna be like a little thinner than it is and it's thick which I don't mind because you know my hair needs the moisture and thicker products tend to supply more moisture I feel really don't know that's just my philosophy behind it only eight ounces which for natural hair people it's kind of like a turn off but i think it comes in like multiple sizes so it's okay but as i said before it is on the high end side so i don't know and also since it's soaked up into my hair i keep on wanting to put more on even though i don't really need more because i'm a heavy-handed person so i might use a little bit more than i need to but it is great for detangling so and my hair was in a wash and go state before this and when my hair is in a wash and go state it gets tangled like really really bad for wash day
leave-in decadence all over my hair and I like it it has my hair feeling really really good right now and I was able to easily detangle with it so for right now I'm loving it um, now it's time for the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel. This one is 12 ounces and it says it's got a stronghold with no crunch. Hopefully this twist out comes out okay. And I have done twist outs so many times on my channel. So I'm just going to do like the smell and the consistency test on camera and everything else is going to be off camera because I feel like you don't want to watch me do that when you see me do that. I don't know how many times as for smell the smell is really light I can't really smell anything I get like a hint of something but it's so light that I can barely tell it's there um and the consistency the consistency is It is different from what I thought it's you can barely see it on my hands and it is the consistency of I don't know oh but now I smell it more I don't know what consistency it's very smooth like rubbing it in between my fingers is very smooth and I'm just ready to try it finish my hair this is what it's looking like the twists are looking very shiny and very juicy and whatnot and and it is two days later and I feel like my hair is dry if it's not dry I don't understand but yeah um so I'm going to take them down and see what happens separated it and this is what my hair is looking like and it seems as if this is like a light fluffy twist out type deal which I'm not mad at you know I like it I feel I feel like I could I could wear this a couple days but I would have to you know like refresh it 
after those couple days and my hair is soft and not crunchy like it said on the bottle so i'm pretty happy about that and yeah this is what my hair is looking like it is a little frizzy not gonna lie not used to the frizz on first day but yeah this is what we're working with i might have to you know mix and match products to see what i really like but i think the product that i would definitely go out and buy like if i was watching this video would be the leave-in conditioner and i would buy the big bottle because i love it um still iffy about the scalp purifier really really don't know about that yet so i'm gonna keep on trying it and see where it takes me and the gel is lightweight so i don't know you might can use this better for um looser textures than mine so anybody above 4c could probably use it and get away with it but my 4c hair was struggling just a tad bit i feel like it just needs to be a little bit just a tiny bit heavier just for my hair so it'll you know not create so much frizz i did have some uh flakes but not like big flakes it looked like it was snowing a little bit um and i feel like that's because i couldn't judge how much gel to put on because my hair was so moisturized from this so i might have put you know a little bit too much gel but still it's okay i feel like i'm fine with it this is the finished um product or whatever i in my opinion i like it i like it a lot because it's so 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 soft i don't i don't know i'm gonna stop touching it now and uh yeah that's it for this video i hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and like i said if you really want to try some try the leave-in conditioner because bomb.com i might need to try to cream from the brand with the gel yeah yeah they sound they sound like a they sound like an idea okay so if you want to see me try the that the super cream I, I think that's what it's called from um diva curl with this gel on another twist out whatever let me know down below and i'll get the video out for you guys yeah but that's it for this one before you leave make sure you like comment and subscribe and click that little bell button so you never miss the next time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye